Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about Clinical Institute Withdrawal Assessment for Alcohol, which is commonly known as the CIWA scale or CIWS scale. So this is the most objective and best validated tool to assess the severity of alcohol withdrawal. So the CLIN is the Clinical Institute Withdrawal Assessment for Alcohol, revised CIWS-AR shown below. This survey consists of 10 items and can be administered rapidly at the bedside in about 5 minutes. The 10 items included uh, nausea and vomiting, anxiety, tremor, sweating, auditory disturbances, visual disturbances, tactile disturbances, headache, agitation, and clouding of sensorium. So 0 to 7 points are assigned to each item, except for the last item which is assigned 0 to 4 points. So with a total possible score of 67. So these are the parameters. So what nausea, vomiting, tremors, paroxysmal sweats, anxiety, agitation, tactile disturbance, auditory disturbance, visual disturbance, headache, fullness in head orientation and clouding of sensorium. So let's look at it in a little bit of detail. So nausea and vomiting. So the question you're going to ask will be, do you feel sick to your stomach or have you vomited? So no nausea and no vomiting is zero. Mild nausea with no vomiting, one, two, three. Then intermittent nausea with dry hips is four. And constant nausea, frequent dry hips and vomiting is seven. Go to tremor. Arms extended and fingers spread apart observation. If there is no tremor, that's zero. If it's not visible but can be felt fingertip to fingertip, that's one point. Moderate with patient's arm extended is four points. Severe even with arms not extended is seven points. Tactile disturbances. Should ask the patient, have you had any itching, pains, any little sensations, any burning, any numbness, or do you feel bugs crawling on or under your skin? So if they say none, that's zero. Very mild itching, pains, and needles burning or numbness is one point. Mild itching, pains, and needles burning or numbness is two points. Moderate itching, pins and needles, burning or numbness is 3 points. Moderately severe hallucinations is 4 points. Severe hallucinations is 5 points. Extremely severe hallucinations is 6 points. And continuous hallucinations is 7 points. And the next parameter we'll look at is auditory disturbance. So you ask the patient, are you more aware of sounds around you? Are they harsh? Do they frighten you? Are you hearing anything that's disturbing to you? Are you hearing things you know are not there? Observation. So, not present, that's zero. Very mild harshness or ability to frighten is one. Mild harshness or ability to frighten is two points. Moderate harshness or ability to frighten is three points. Moderately severe hallucinations is four points. Severe hallucinations is five points. Extremely severe hallucinations is six points. And continuous hallucinations are seven points. And we go to the next parameter, which is paroxysmal sweats. No sweat visible is 0 points, barely perceptible sweating, palms moist is 1 point, bits of sweat obvious on forehead is 4 points and drenching sweat is 7 points. Anxiety. Ask, do you feel nervous? Observation. No anxiety is 0, there it is. Mild anxiety is 1, moderately anxious or guided, so anxiety is inferred, that's 4 points. Equivalent to acute panic states as seen in severe delirium or acute schizophrenic reaction, that's 7 points. The next parameter is agitation. Normal activity is 0 points, somewhat more than normal activity is 1 point. Moderately fidgety and restless is 4 points. Paces back and forth during most of the interview or constantly thrashes about, that's 7 points. Visual disturbance, you ask the patient, does the light appear to be too bright? Is is its color different? Does it hurt your eyes? Are you seeing anything that's disturbing to you? Are you seeing things you know are not there? So not present, that's zero. Very mild sensitivity is one point. Mild sensitivity is two points. Moderate sensitivity is three points. Moderately severe hallucinations is four points. Severe hallucinations is five points. Extremely severe hallucinations is six points. Continuous hallucinations is seven points. Then the next parameter is headache fullness in head. So you ask the patient, does your head feel different? Does it feel like there is a band around your head? Do not rate for dizziness or lightheadedness, otherwise rate severity. 
So not present is 0, very mild 1, mild 2, moderate 3, moderately severe 4, severe 5, very severe 6, extremely severe 7. So as we said that all of the 10 parameters, 9 of which are up to 7 points, however the last one just carries 4 points. So that is orientation and clouding of sensorium. So you ask the patient, what day is this, where are you and who am I? So zero is oriented and can do serial additions. One cannot do serial additions or is uncertain about date. Two disoriented for date by no more than two calendar days. It means that they think they're not exactly sure of the date, but it's close to the actual date. Three disoriented for date by more than two calendar days. Four disoriented for place or person. So this assessment for wanting withdrawal symptoms requires approximately 5 minutes to administer. The maximum score is 67. Patients scoring less than 10 do not usually need additional medications for withdrawal. So this is basically just the same that I've just talked about. All items are scored from 0 to 7 with the exception of the orientation category that scored from 0 to 4. The CO scale is validated and has high enteric reliability. The maximum score is 67. Mild alcohol withdrawal is defined with a score less than or equal to 10. Moderate with scores 11 to 15 and severe with any score equal to or greater than 16. So scoring the goal of the CO scale is to provide an efficient and objective means of assessing alcohol withdrawal. Studies have shown that use of the scale in management of alcohol withdrawal leads to decreased frequency of oversedation with benzodiazepines in patients with milder alcohol withdrawal than would otherwise be detected without use of the scale, and decreased frequency of undertreatment in patients with greater severity of withdrawal than would otherwise be determined without the scale. So that's all about the CWA scale. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you like the video, like and comment and subscribe. Thank you.